All right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Harakak Madash. Double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone, rule and teach well, and who I learned this truth from. And honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, pushing out the same, doing the same. All right. Uh, uh, and to the families of the men of the Lord, wish of Shalom. Okay, this is a quick sit down, quick sit down, okay? Just. Uh, Going into the um, the dark history of Babylon, the Great America, okay, and um, you know all the all the destruction, um, rape, rob, and murder. All right, and uh, just just the total uh, destruction that's done by Esau, Edom. All right. <clears throat> And Lord willing, it's, it's edifying, okay? Lord willing, it's edifying. All right, so uh, first I'm going to get the video, okay? And this video just going into all the, the, the um, basically small wars and skirmishes by uh, Babylon the Great America on other uh, countries, okay? All right? <clears throat> and also... Uh, you know, that's why Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to take down uh, Esau Edom, okay? All right? Because really, a, a, uh, a lot of these wars is, is start, started by Esau anyway for their own gain, okay? For their own profit, all right? And also, uh, first and foremost, what they did to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the 12 tribes of Israel, who the kingdom of heaven is for, all right? So, number one, all right, that's why uh, Esau Edom has to pay, all right? <clears throat> and I forgot what, I think it was a senator or a president, you know, he, uh, I want to say it was Kennedy. Oh, I think it was Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, I, I want to say. I'm not sure you can, you can look it up. I'm not going to look it up in this video. You know, I'm probably going to look it up uh, later. But, you know, uh, but basically he said, he said, uh, what if, you know, we get get to heaven and God is, is, a, is a black man? That's what he said, you know. And the only thing would spark a, a, that type of question is knowing the truth. To tell a lie, you got to know the truth. All right. And guess what? When he made that comment, he knew the truth. He knew, OK, according to the Bible, the Bible say otherwise. The Bible say the Lord is a dark brown skinned man. All right. But the white man say, you know, uh, the so-called white man says through his uh, his renaissance and iconoclasm that the Lord is white, so-called white. All right. <clears throat> OK. You know, so. Uh, they got a lot of um, uh, the pay for. They got a lot to pay for. Okay, so let's get into it. The United States has bombed all of the following countries since World War II. To begin, we do not have to travel far. In Central America, the United States has bombed Panama, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Grenada, the Dominican Republic, and Cuba. Moving across the ocean to Africa, we have Libya, Sudan, and Somalia. In Europe, the list consists of former Yugoslavian countries, namely Serbia, Bosnia, Kosovo, and Montenegro. Next is the Middle East, where the U.S. dropped bombs on Yemen, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Kuwait, Iran, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Moving to East Asia, we have Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Japan, and Korea. Finally, during the bombardment of Belgrade, a few bombs hit the Chinese embassy, so I've included China to the list as well. This is how the completed map looks like. Right, so when you... You know, when you go through the, the dark history of Babylon, the Great America, you wonder why the whole world hates this place. All right. So World War Three, World War Three and the, the future destruction of Babylon, the Great America, uh, that's prophesied in the Bible with those nuclear missiles, 200 million. All right. Um, 
<clears throat> you know, their actions. You reap what you sow. Every action that Babylon the Great America has made, it was literally to forward prophecy, all right, and just uh, make uh, World War III manifest and materialize, all right? So literally every decision, every decision that Babylon the Great America makes is literally to push them closer and closer to their end, to destruction. All right, the Lord, the Lord set it up that way. Okay, the Lord set it up that way. First, I'm gonna come back to that. This Revelation 18, Revelation 18 and 5, Revelation 18 and 5. For, for her sins, I'm gonna start at 4. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. All right, and that come out of her is talking about. Uh, Romans 12 and 2 all right so this Romans Romans 12 and 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may pr may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashmael all right so you got to mentally come out of this place you got to mentally come out of this place you got to put off all the lies all the uh pagan holidays all right the deception, right? You got to put off these different philosophies of the world, okay? And uh, these different religions of the world, you got to put all that off, okay? And you got to return back to uh, Yahweh Bashmael Shah and, and take hold of your heritage, the Bible, all right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, your heritage is in the Bible. So take hold of it, all right? Learn it, understand it, digest it, all right, and live it, you know, and you, you're supposed to dedicate your life to your how about Shema Shah, all right? <clears throat> now, we not nuns or nothing like that, you know. <laughs> uh, people, uh, people in the outside world, they don't fully, uh, they don't understand, you know, uh, what it means to... Um, they don't understand what it means to have order, to keep the law, statutes, commandments, to live a life uh, holy and set apart. Holy means set apart for the Lord. All right. You know, they don't understand what it means. OK, so you don't want to be conformed to this world. All right. <clears throat> you should be totally renewed through the spirit and power, power of Yahweh Bashmael Shah. All right, because that's what's going to save you. All right, having this knowledge, having this truth, knowing your true identity, all right, knowing these prophecies, that's what's going to save you. All right. Revelation, Revelation 1 and 3, it says, Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. So that's that's what's more. That's what's important. All right, that's all that matters. Let's go back. All right. So this place, this place got a lot to pay for. All right. You reap what you sow. What goes around, come around. All these different, uh, you know, sayings in the world, you know, that shows you that our people have a, a connection with the Bible. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You unconsciously, you, you use certain words unconsciously, you know, all right? <clears throat> okay. You have a form of godliness, you know, let me get that. All right. <clears throat> so like you. Second Timothy, Second Timothy three and five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. All right. OK. So our people have a form of godliness, but they they truly deny they deny uh, Yahweh Bashmael Shah. They deny they don't want to submit themselves to the Lord. All right. 
You know, they rather just uh, live live lies. All right, serve idols. Okay. <clears throat> so it says Revelation Revelation thirteen and twelve. And he and he exercised of all the power of the first beast. This is talking about America. America comes in a spirit and vibration in this the, re the reincarnation of the uh, ancient Roman Empire. Okay, America. Uh, America has the same Senate. America has the same Senate as uh, um, uh, the ancient Roman Empire. All right, have, have the same form of. Um, entertainment, sports, all right, uh, you know, has a Congress, the same government, all right, the uh, same state bird, the, the eagle, uh, you know, and so on and so on, okay? <clears throat> so it says, before, uh, before him, and cause of the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. That's right. Deadly wound was healed, meaning uh, this place, the ancient Roman Empire, was reborn during the Renaissance uh, period, which means rebirth. All right. So it came back in the form of uh, Babylon, the Great America, uh, 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 right along with the NATO and the EU. Okay. <clears throat> So it says, and uh, and he do uh, so like and he do of great wonders, so that he make a first uh, and he do of great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven, on the earth in the sight of men. All right. So th the way that uh, Babylon the Great America made fire come down from heaven, which we just seen, was those those bombings. All right, Babylon the Great America was bombing different countries, all right, killing innocent people, all right, lying, lying about terrorists and things like that, okay, infiltrating these uh, people's lands and stuff like that for different purposes, all right, and they show it in their movies. They show it in their movies, expose, you know, uh, these elites, all right, <clears throat> You know, and the super rich, they expose like certain uh, inside jobs, you know, like the 9 11 and so on and so on. Like, they expose, like, okay, why this really happened. You know, they, they tell you in, prop in propaganda uh, on the mainstream news, like, oh, terrorists, you know, Al Qaeda, this and that. But really, you know, uh, it's a, you know, uh, there, it's a, it's an inside job, all right. And also, it, it's they're doing it uh, in wickedness. Okay, they're lying about their true intentions and why they're really over there in these different areas. Okay, <clears throat> and that's, that's just outright bullying. Okay, uh, Babylon the Great America is known for bullying the other nations because it you know it got it got the power to do so. All right. And that power is being uh, taken away. The Lord, the Lord has taken away that power. All right. Let me get the next priest up. Yeah, this is not a, a long sit down. Just uh, bringing out this information. Lord, one is edifying. Ezekiel thirty-five and one. Ezekiel thirty-five and one. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophe prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Okay? <clears throat> and I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Alright? So this is a curse. All right, that's going to uh, take hold on uh, Esau Edom. All right, so it says, uh, and Esau Edom is uh, the so called white race because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the, of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Okay, 
And guess what? Our, our iniquity is coming to an end. All right, this is our last captivity, all right? But right before the kingdom of heaven, we're in the last days, the end times. All right, all right uh, the Messiah, Yahweh Shah, he's coming back to the earth. Okay? They went overboard, all right? They went overboard, all right? Butt breaking, you know, all type of uh, sick acts, all right? And, uh, you know, heinous crimes, you know, that they did to our people. All right. And then even today, you know, like with Cracker Barrel and uh, other other subliminals, you know, like the, the Rice Krispie Treats, you know, those three slave masters and things like that, you know. So it's just different. They just they parade. Uh, they parade and just celebrate their history right like right underneath uh, our noses okay and the Lord see everything Yahweh Bashma Shah see everything all right it says verse 6 therefore therefore as I live saith the Lord Yahweh I will pre prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee saith thou hast not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee all right <clears throat> Okay, so this is a future prophecy. All right? This is a future prophecy. Okay? The Lord is coming with fire. All right? The Lord is coming with fire. Okay? <clears throat> I'm ended on this one. Because uh, our people don't, they truly don't know the Lord. All right? Uh, this Exodus, uh, Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. Okay? And Yahweh is about to cut up bad. All right? The Lord about to cut up bad. All right? <clears throat> so, uh, uh, before I get, well, before I end it, you know, um, everything that's happening in the world right now, the Lord is intensifying these calamities, these plagues, all right, to bring about all different forms of death, okay? You know, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. I'm ending on that. This Amos, Amos 5 and uh, 18. All right. Mm. Now, yeah, I'm going to just get to the point. It's Amos 5 and 18. It say, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Right. You know, and, uh, you know, Christians, they, they, they claim like, you know, they, they, they can't wait to see the Lord and, all that type of stuff, but they truly don't understand, like, what, they don't understand prophecy. The Lord is not coming back on no nice guy type of stuff. All right? The Lord is coming back to attack. All right? There's no such thing as an alien invasion. All right? The Lord and the angels are, are on those UFOs. All right? So it's... The Lord is coming back to terrorize, <laughs> you know, to slay. Okay? So it says, uh, Amos, Amos 5 and 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on a wall and a serpent bit him. All right? So it's like, it's going to be no peace. Like the scriptures say, it's no peace to the wicked. All right? You know, you might you may be a doomsday prepper. You know, uh, you you probably got a bunker, a bunker in the woods somewhere. You know, uh, you've been stocking up. Got you got about twelve hundred bullets in each different caliber. You know, you you probably got about five seven guns. Guess what? You know, you gonna you gonna die on, on some bullshit. 
you know, you probably gonna die on some bullshit. You know, accidentally get struck by lightning. Well, not accidentally, <laughs> but you know, get struck by lightning. You know, or a, a tree branch might uh, that weigh ten pounds or break off a tree and fall on your head and kill you. So the, you know, people are gonna be dying in different ways in Jacob's trouble. All right. <clears throat> if you don't have that mark of exemption in Ezekiel nine and four, um, let me get that. If you don't have that mark of exemption, you know all this chaos and confusion is going to overtake you. Because guess what? We gotta uh, us as uh, men, women, and children of the Lord. We gotta go through this. All right, and the women and children's salvation depend on the man. Okay, so you know if if uh, Lord willing, you know I'm a part of that elect number. But if we don't have that mark of exemption, all right, these lions, tigers, and bears, and hyenas gonna get a hold on you. All right, they're gonna lay hands on you. All right. <laughs> So, <laughs> Jacob's trouble gonna be off the charts. It's not like playing uh, uh, Left for Dead. It's it's different. You know, you playing the video games with your cousins, the zombie games and stuff, survival mode. You know, it's different from you gonna we gonna be actually in those times. You know. <clears throat> you know you don't want to be getting into a fist fight with a zombie on some shit. And lose Okay So You want the Lord to uh, Endow us with spiritual protection And spiritual power Alright You know In Yahweh Bashima Shah, He's going to have his, his, uh, his elect Camouflaged Invisible So to speak You know Just uh, You know Two thirds and these heathens not even gonna be worrying about us, you know. Uh, so this is Ezekiel nine and four, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, "Go through the midst of Jeru uh, uh, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, "Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that cry, I mean that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof." All right, and that mark is a mark of. Exemption, okay, <clears throat> from judgment. All right, <clears throat> but I don't want to make it too long. With that, I want to end it and give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. <clears throat> Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, ruling teach well. Honest salutations to the men of the Lord, pushing out the spirit and truth, and uh, wish the families of the men of the Lord Shalom.